All right. Let's go over this word problem. Catherine, read for us. Christian, what's a formula we can use? P P of T Raise your hand if you have that on your paper. You're going to get partial credit, two out of four points, just for having that down. Partner A, tell partner B, what's your T value? Your choices are 60, 64, or 2014. Raise your hand, 60. Raise your hand 64. Raise your hand 2014. So for the time, although they took data from the past 60 years, they looked at 60 years basically from 1950 to 2010, they got a decline of 1.6%. They're asking you to use the data to figure out for 2014. And that gives us T equals 64. <coughs> My population after 64 years from 1950. Uh, Brian, P sub zero. Yeah, that's our starting population. Brian, what's our rate? Question. Positive or negative? Brian. Why'd you say negative? Yeah. Decline means a negative number. Now remember, we kind of did our decimals. Let me rewrite this a little bit cleaner. 857,000. <clears throat> Remember, 1 is something like 1.00. And 1.6%. Because if you take this and you multiply it by 100, you're moving it two decimal places, which gives you 1.6%. So if we subtract these values, <coughs> Aiden, what do I get? Aiden. Four. Yeah. Repeat after me. Calculator. Okay. Ready. Okay. Equation. Say it. Let's write that. <coughs> Calculator. 
ready equation. The temptation for students as we do more and more calculator work is just push in a bunch of numbers to try to get an answer. I actually want to see all your work and at the very end this is what I know you're putting into the calculator so I can give you partial credit. The student who just has answers makes me suspicious. Let's put in your calculator. And then the care button of a division. What do you expect the number to be before I press enter? More than or less than the original? So we approximate that in 64 years that there would be a population of 305,258 people. So just think about it. It's a decline, so it has to be a number smaller than the original. You're changing your percent into a decimal because it's decline, your rate is negative, and then time is from 1950 to 2014.